In this tutorial we're going to look at the remap numbers component. So the remap numbers component is super useful if you have a certain set of values or numbers that you're trying to use to control the parameter of another component. And if those original values are very large or they don't they're not compatible with the number you're trying to use for changing a parameter of another component, then you can remap them into something that is compatible. So let's show an example here. Let's say I have a panel and let's say somehow I'm collecting the data from some light source so I'm getting really big numbers in the tens of thousands um, and you know these are these are way too big to use for any kind of um, radius for a circle for example so um, I want to control the radius of the circle based on these numbers proportionally but I don't want to use the numbers themselves so I'm going to go ahead and turn this into multi-line data. And so I have seven values here, and I want to use them to control the radius of a circle. So what I need to do is use this remap um, numbers component. And what we also need to do is create a new domain of numbers. So I'm going to construct a domain of numbers. And these will be the values that do fit within the um, parameter that I'm trying to adjust. So for example, um, let's do another panel. This is going to be the minimum value. Let's say the minimum value is going to be 2.25 inches, for, ex for example. Uh, we'll turn that to multi-line data. And then let's say the maximum will be 5.5 inches. So you can see these are widely different, wildly different, but um, you can use the remap components to proportionally change these to fit within that domain. So I'll plug this one into there and that one into there. Um, the first thing I need to do now is find the bounds, so the minimum and the maximum value within that domain. So it doesn't have to be in order. It, it will just find um, the smallest number and the largest and make a new domain based on those. And So that's the bounds component. And you can just plug that list into the bounds. And then you'll see if I have a panel here what the domain is. So the domain is 9,000, that's the smallest number, to 32,003, that's the biggest number. So we'll use this bounds and we'll plug that into the source. That's our original domain. This is going to be our target domain. So those are the that's the new domain that we want to plug those numbers into. And of course, these are the values that we want to change. So let's go ahead and create another panel and then plug this into the remapped value. So you can see it takes each of those. So the smallest value, which is 9,000, is going to become my smallest value in this domain. So item 3, 9,000, will become item 3, 2.25 and then so on and so forth. So I can now use those values to control um, a, another set of parameters on another component, for example like a circle radius.